What's good everybody, Jared Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a little do-it-yourself project. We're going to make a gravity deer feeder out of some old uh, PVC pipe I have, and we're gonna make one out of some old corrugated uh, pipe that I have. These are really inexpensive projects to do, and they're, they're really easy to make. And also, you're gonna need a hacksaw or a sawzall. So typically, whether you're using PVC or corrugated pipe, you wanna at least use a four inch pipe. So first we'll start with this four inch corrugated pipe that I have. This here is a six inch PVC pipe. This is an old uh, rod holder that I'd built to go on top of my truck. Now that we have both types of pipe cut, let's take them down in the woods strap them to a tree and show you how I use them and how I set them up and how they work. I'm just gonna take simple paracord and tie this corrugated pipe to this tree. Now we have that feeder set up. Now all we gotta do is put corn in it and show you how it works. Now how this type of feeder works is they come up to eat it, they can only get a little bit at a time. You don't want it to all come out at one time, you want it to just come out a little bit at a time. Let's go over here and put our big PVC pipe up and see how it does. With this six inch PVC pipe, I'm actually gonna use straps to put it on the tree because it's heavier than the corrugated pipe. So as you can see, just like the corrugated pipe, as they come and get it, you can see how it falls down. Well guys, that was a fast, easy, cheap, inexpensive way to build your own gravity deer feeder. You can get real elaborate with them by putting different 45s off of them where they can stick their snouts in it and you know, multiple deer can come out at one time. But if you wanna build just a simple gravity deer feeder, that's the way to go. Don't get no smaller than a four inch uh, pipe, whether it be corrugated pipe or PVC pipe. Cut them anywhere from five to six feet long. Set them about two, two and a half inches off the ground. That way when the corn comes out, it can kind of pile up and stop it as it comes down. And that's all there is to making your own gravity feeder. They don't have to be just for deer hunting. Uh, you can put them out for birds. You can put bird feed in them. If you like to train dogs, like squirrel hunting dogs or coon hunting dogs, those are great feeders to use for that. Just a ton of different things you can do with that simple feeder that's cheap, inexpensive, and easy to set up. Well, guys, I had fun with this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a comment down below and let us know if you've used that style of feeder before. Hey, and give us some ideas on... Uh, different style of feeders to build. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you liked it, and we will see you all on down the road.